Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today, I'm gonna finally give you a gear review on our Sunday gear review of the Schmidt Bender 1.5 to 8 short dot. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So uh, this 1.5 to 8 short dot from Schmidt Bender was a loaner to me, a long-term loaner. I've had it almost a year uh, from Andrew at Lone Star Armory. It's on a Spur mount, a 1.93 mount, uh, and a beautiful rifle all the way considered. You've seen this TX-15 on the channel a whole bunch. This rifle, I have absolutely no doubt I can depend my whole life on. It is set up exactly like I like it, and it is a fantastic rifle. Now let's talk about this dot. This is a crazy expensive dot, and guys, I, quite frankly, I know I, there's adapters and stuff you could get for smartphone cameras and stuff to be able to see down this but you know what i can't figure them out so i'm just going to give you my impressions of this guy um and and whether or not it's something that you should invest in and and here's my upfront. okay i think this is bougie as a dot it's super cool as a low power variable optic I, I don't know that I'd spend the money on it personally. I think that if you got more money than you know what to do with and you got all the money in the world, then this uh, low power variable optic, sure, it's amazing. The glass clarity is something else. Um, but it's like over $2,000. And for most people, they're not spending that on their whole rifle uh, and their pistol combined. And, and quite frankly, um, I don't know that I would spend this kind of money. But let's talk about the, the good of this first. First of all, I really like a lot about this particular dot. Um, number one, of course, adjustable eye relief on here. And a couple of things that I love, the, the magnification roll here is really good. The, the uh, mechanics inside this are amazing. The glass is super clear. And, and when you're outdoors in transitional light and those kinds of things, you really do see a difference that you can see through this glass super well. Now, for most of us, if you ain't got 2010 vision, you're probably not gonna see as much difference as you think on that. Another couple of things that I really like on this is, is if you notice here, I've got positive clicks. See if you can hear it. So you got positive clicks on your um, adjustments. So again, and, and what you have those is you have half a click or one click is one centimeter at a hundred meters. So you're talking about, you know, a, a very easy way to, to see what's going on with that. Same thing with your elevation here. And you can dial that, uh, your up or down for, in terms of your, um, uh, reticle illumination. Um, it's a very simple mill dot reticle like that about it. Doesn't get in the way. The thing that I kind of don't like about this is it doesn't go down to actually one power. It goes down to 1.5 power. So you always have just a little bit of magnification in there, which once you get used to, it's not the end of the world, but ah, man, it's maybe not ideal. So you guys have seen me shoot this a whole bunch on the channel. I don't think it's it's very difficult. So, so at 1.5, so if I'm dialed all the way back to 1.5, it's not hard to come up and get a sight picture. It's not hard as I come up here to see what I need to see and go. That said, um, you know, I'm sending this guy back to Andrew because he's got a buyer for it and it's time for me to send it back. And am I going to replace it with a Schmidt? I'm not, I'm not going to spend that much money. Um, I like it and I'm going to put a couple pictures up here, the reticle and those kinds of things. I think it's really cool. And again, if, if you've got a really high budget and you want to run a low power variable optic, I think it's one you maybe should consider. I'm going to put, I'm not sure at this point, I might put a, a red dot, just a, a dot on this gun for a little while and run it with a dot. I might put another low power variable optic on it, a true one power when I do that uh, with a little bit less beefy mount on it because this guy's kind of a beast right now. Um, but, uh, there it is, guys. I, I don't have any skin in the game on this one. I think that it's super cool, but I don't know that it's something I'd spend my money on if I was you. 